Guys, I'm super excited because today I've got another video that's going to show you how to earn passive income with blockchain. And that's one of my favorite things about this space is there's so many different ways to monetize these skills and earn passive income with cryptocurrency. So today I want to introduce you to a brand new way that I've never covered before on my channel. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp and get started today. All right, so what's this new way to earn passive income? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do it with the graph because I know you guys are always out there looking for more ways to make money with blockchain. And today I figure I would, you know, leak some alpha for you. I'm going to talk about what the graph is, you know, how it works, how to make money with it, and then a quick tutorial so you can get your hands dirty. So what is the graph? Well, it's a query interface for the blockchain. So if you've ever built a blockchain application before, you know how much of a pain it is to talk to a bunch of different smart contracts, like load them all into your application, ask for all their information, you know, request by request, one by one. It's, it's just a real pain. So the graph makes this a lot easier by giving you a query interface where you can just, you know, access data from the entire blockchain without having to pull in all that information into your app. And it uses GraphQL to do this, which is a really popular query language for modern applications. All right, It's actually taking off quite a lot in the developer space. So I just did a tutorial recently on Uniswap that uses the graph to pull that information into your application. So go check that out if you haven't already. But I'm also going to give you a quick overview on how GraphQL works later in this video. And the graph is a really popular project used by some notable names in the space like Uniswap, Synthetix, Decentraland, and Aragon. So how does the graph work? Well, it gives you a unified query interface like I talked about, but how does it work under the hood? Like, why is it okay to just talk to an API to, you know, get blockchain information? Why would you trust this API instead of just talking to the blockchain directly? Well, the graph uses a decentralized network of nodes to help verify the integrity of the data that comes from the blockchain. So basically, whenever you make a request to the graph, you know, under the hood, all these different nodes, you know, talk to one another, okay? And each of these nodes um, indexes the data from the blockchain on very specific projects. I'll show you how that works here in a minute. And they achieve consensus before giving you the data, okay? And each of these nodes are incentivized to serve you correct data with graph tokens. So this is kind of similar, like, to the Chainlink project. So it's kind of like Chainlink, but it works in reverse, so Chainlink is an Oracle service that brings outside data onto the blockchain. And this basically just indexes data on the blockchain for really fast reading. And also, uh, you know, this unified query interface that I was talking about earlier. I also did a tutorial on my channel about how to earn passive income with Chainlink by running a validator node as well. So you can check that out if you want more information. So how can you get involved with the graph as a developer? You know, how can you earn passive income and all that kind of stuff? All right. So the first thing you definitely need to know about is the graph token. So this is not launched yet. This is coming on the mainnet, you know, pretty soon. But earning graph tokens is the main way that you're going to earn income by participating as a developer. So that's the first thing you need to know about. And so one way you can get your hands dirty as a developer really fast is by building subgraphs. OK, so that's how you get information on specific projects. So like I said, the graph indexes data from the blockchain. Well, subgraphs are how it does it. Basically, subgraphs correspond to individual blockchain projects. So if you know about a specific blockchain project that doesn't have a subgraph yet, or you want to build a different one, then you can do that with the graph. So but if you're talking about actually participating and running the network itself, like active, real time, earning that passive income reward, then there's two main ways to do that. All right. The first one is indexing. All right. That that's got to do with, uh, you know, running those nodes that I showed you earlier. So an indexer does just that. They run a node that processes queries for the graph and they stake their graph tokens when they do that and they earn part of the fees for this service. So basically when you run a node, you index data on your node, people make queries to this network of nodes that you are a part of, you stake your graph tokens to this node, you earn more graph tokens for doing your job well and you know, you're incentivized to act honestly because you risk, you know, losing your graph tokens if you uh, you know, provide bad data. And that's what makes the uh, data trustworthy. 
So the next way is to be a curator. So this is basically like a filter. So there could be a lot of different subgraphs out there. Like I said, any developer can basically create their own subgraph and submit it to the protocol, right? Because it's open source. Well, what curators do is they sort through all of these and they find the good subgraphs and tell the indexers about it. So basically, you know, they tell the indexers like, hey, these are the subgraphs you want to pay attention to. And those get, you know, indexed and it provides a better experience to the end user. So very similarly, the curators, you know, stake their graph tokens as an incentive to act honestly. And that's how they earn their passive income reward as well. When they, when they do their job well, they earn more graph tokens passively. So in addition to these ways, you can also earn graph tokens by participating in the incentivized test net. So the graph has not uh, moved to main net just yet at the time of recording this video. So they're refining things in their test network. So you can help them do this and you know you can complete tasks and earn money for doing this with the tokens. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. You can do the bug bounty program. I'll just go ahead and put a link to these articles down in the description below so you can filter through that and find all the ways that you can you know earn in the test net. All right, so now I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use the graph as an end user, okay? So uh, going over to the graph.com forward slash explore, I'll put a link to this down in the description below, and then click on Uniswap. So here is the Uniswap subgraph. So remember, each application that provides data uh, to the graph from the blockchain has a subgraph. That's what Uniswap's for. So, you know, Uniswap is the most popular decentralized cryptocurrency exchange on Ethereum. Um, and it has factories to govern each exchange pair. So if you want to trade, you know, ETH for, uh, you know, DAI, for example, then you need to use a different exchange or a different factory. And if you want to, you know, trade USDT for, you know, something else like, uh, DAI, for example, then you use a different one. So, we can query all that information from the graph like this. So you can see we can ask for all the Uniswap factories. That's all the exchange pairs, basically. And then we can also ask for the tokens. So um, this little sandbox right here is basically a way for you to execute uh, GraphQL queries inside your browser. So that's what this is. This is a GraphQL if you've never seen it before. Basically, this is a like a named query. Uh, called Uniswap Factories, which is, of course, defined in the GraphQL schema on the other side of things. So, it, you know, it knows about this. You can see the resources over here. So if you ask for all the Uniswap Factories, it, it, it makes a lot of sense. Basically, you just name the query and you can say, hey, I want the first five Uniswap Factories. And then you can just pass in like an arbitrary list of attributes that you want back, uh, assuming that they are included in the schema. So it looks like there's an error here. I can't find the field pairs. So we'll just take that out. All right. So, you know, you can basically issue a query for all the factories, get the first five and say you want the ID, the pair count and total volume. And then you can also ask for all the tokens. So we want the first five tokens, the ID, name, symbol and decimals. So, you know, you can nest things just like this. You can add multiple items to the uh, query. And this is a big change from REST, for example, like where you have to make a bunch of individual API re requests. Um, and then, you know, you're, you know, you're kind of stuck to whatever that backend decides the response is, right? This, this way you can just ask for, you know, individual attributes. Uh, you can request lots of different things at the same time. And also this is a lot faster than having to load up a bunch of different smart contracts into your application, uh, you know, manage a bunch of addresses and wait a long time for blockchain data to populate into your app. This is a lot faster. So let's just hit play and boom, there you go. You can see the data that came back. All right, here's the tokens. All right, here's the addresses. So the, the Qi gas token, true USD, die, uh, gas station. All right. And then also Uniswap factories. So here's the ID, the pair counts. There's 10,000 pairs and a lot of volume. And so that's a really quick overview on how, um, you know, the GraphQL syntax works for the graph. This is the main product that the end user is going to be interacting with. And this is what you need to know about if you're going to get involved with the graph in any way. So that's a really basic introduction, of course. You should check out the tutorial I did recently on how to use uh, Uniswap, right? So go check out that video because inside that, I show you how to build a complete tutorial app with the graph. So, you know, the basic idea is that you would uh, have a client side application or maybe even a back end, doesn't really matter, um, that uses an endpoint like this, api.thegraph.com forward slash subgraphs, uh, you know, request this particular subgraph and it, you know, requests data like this and pulls it into an application. So if you want to see it in play inside of a full app, definitely go check out that tutorial. But here's a brief introduction for you right now.
All right, so that's an introduction to the graph and how you can get started using it today, how you can jump in there and start earning passive income as a developer and all that, all right? So this is a super exciting project and I really wanted to make this video for you today. So make sure you smash the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. It really helps these videos out so that more people can become blockchain developers. Because that's what I'm trying to do here on this channel is create the best resource for people to learn blockchain development. So if that's why you're here, then how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage and find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. You can follow them step by step, you know, build your own tutorial app. There's also written guides on my website, which are available in the links below those videos as well. So if you like those tutorials and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, then I can show you how to master blockchain step by step from start to finish over at dappyuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, inside there, I'll show you everything, show you how to build a real world project, a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange so that you can, you know, land a high paying job, become a freelancer, you know, build your own project. Just click the link down below to sign up today. All right, so that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.